could you go ahead and just tell us, you know, some of your biggest takeaways from the weekend overall? Oh, we've played with a lot of grit, a lot of fight. Um, love the energy that we had this weekend. Um, the outcome wasn't exactly how we would have wanted. Um, a heartbreaking loss yesterday, but overall, I was just real happy with the progress that we made. Can you take us that yesterday, you know, after that heartbreaking, you know, in that seventh inning, you guys seemed like you had it. You know, what's, what's the message to the team in the locker room after something as heartbreaking as that? You know, it, our game is, is so different. Um, we don't have control over the results. I mean, we could have 15 hits and never score. Um, the ball just bounced their way, and we just showed a lot of fight, and the energy was great. The, the dugout was so unbelievably positive. Um, we believed we could win, and those wins are really heartbreaking when they don't go your way. What did you like that you saw um, on that first game on Friday? Obviously, you got that win. What would you like that you saw from the Our aggressiveness. I mean, that was the biggest takeaway after Kentucky. I thought that we chased the ball, a lot of balls out of the zone. Um, we were guessing a lot, and we went into the Florida series just trying to be aggressive and, and trying to attack the first good pitch that we see, and we did. We did not take a lot of strikes, um, so that way we were hitting ahead in the count, and that made, really made the difference in game one. Julia Crenshaw, how good was it to see her get, get that home run and kind of get that hit? I feel like she needed. I mean, she's, she's been kind of down. I mean, she hasn't had a lot of offensive run production in the last couple series. So, I mean, that was huge uh, for her and for us to be able to get a little bit more out of her. Um, you know, she's going to be a force. And, and again, this is her first year being in that starting role. And um, there's going to be ups and downs. But, I mean, she's someone that we're going to continue to rely on. So it was great to see her capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. Now through two SEC series, you know, what do you feel like is the biggest thing that you've kind of learned about this group? Obviously, you know, a lot of young players, like we've been mentioning, what's the biggest maybe growth or thing you've learned about them through those two? Um, Growth-wise, we, we have to play and we have to have fun. That, that's the biggest thing. We have to enjoy being out there. We can't put too much pressure on ourselves and we can't put pressure on them. They're young. Um, so there's gonna have, they're going to have peaks and valleys and we have to enjoy being around each other and enjoy playing the game. Um, we play our best when we're having a good time doing it. That's been the biggest takeaway. We were not enjoying being out there against Kentucky. We were very uptight. Um, we were, played much more relaxed against Florida and we're really looking forward to the next series at Auburn. If you had to pick a player on both offense or defense, one or two, so far in the season, who would you say you're most impressed with so far? Alex Honnold, by far. I mean, her her day one um, against Florida, so impressive, so unbelievably impressive. I mean, everything that she hit, she hit hard. Um, she has such unbelievable composure. She's been so consistent. Um, definitely Alex Honnold. Yeah. Who would you say on, like, the defensive side of things? I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised with Jenna Laird. Um, you know, she's, she's a Golden Glove Award winner for, by, for a reason. I mean, she made some ridiculous plays against Florida up the middle diving catches. She flipped one to Maddie Gallagher at second base uh, to get a force out at two from a diving position on the ground. I mean, she's someone that she's just such a pleasure to watch. Um, so I'm not going to say I'm impressed with her um, or surprised by her because uh, that is the level that she plays at. What about Shanti Phillips? I feel like I've seen her make some plays with the wall out here last last weekend. I guess that was and, and doing good at the plate. How impressed have you been with her so far? Okay, oh, she's yes, definitely. She's one that has just been. She's elevated her game. She pulled back a home run. She's made some great diving catches. Um, you know, she's exciting. She she's really exciting. And obviously, to fill the shoes of Cassidy Shomo is, is pretty tough to do. And and she's rose to that occasion. Mm -hmm. What would you say about the relationship between CC and Lauren so far? I feel like it just keeps growing. <laughs> it does. And, and you know, they've, Lauren has taken CC underneath her wing. Um, they warm up together. They spin together. They talk about the game. Um, so they're really learning a lot from one another. And, you know, it's, it's fun when CC takes the, the field and she'll have the game ball on Wednesday against Drake. Um, everybody loves playing behind CC because she plays with such energy and enthusiasm. Getting on a roll. I mean, that's been the that's the thing. We want to get on a roll here and feel really good about what we're doing. Again, playing in front of our home crowd is always important, and we're going to carry a lot of energy in there. But we're just really feeling good about what we're doing. Swinging the bat really well, hitting the ball hard, um, having some quality pitching, and carrying that into Auburn. Yeah. What's the mentality with with the midweek game? Obviously, you want to win the game, but are there adjustments being made, kind of things in preparation for Auburn as well? It's forcing our opponent to play to our game, playing our speed. Um, so it's kind of when you're playing the SEC, you're you're 
very, very careful um, because you don't have a lot of opportunities and you don't want to make any mistakes because the game is so fine and it really comes down to who makes the fewest number of mistakes. And it's kind of getting that, that freedom to be able to let's elevate our game and play it at a different speed against a midweek um, to carry that momentum into another, another tough competition in SEC play. Um, attacking good pitches, that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, we do not hit well when we're behind in the count, when we're tentative, when we're guessing. So it's going up and, and just being as aggressive as we possibly can and attack that first good pitch. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.